Hi, this is Jeff from Serious Learning, and in this screen task, I'll be talking about uh, the weekly uh, articulate challenge shooting your own background graphics. So it's really easy to shoot your own background graphics for uh, for your own e-learning courses, and uh, I just went around the office basically uh, and took some shots with my uh, mobile phone. So not the greatest quality, so I knew I had to uh, uh, play with them a, a little bit, but. Uh, if you grab a good camera, uh, you can get some better shots. As you can see, I've got just different situations. I was thinking about, you know, I want to put a character in front of it, uh, and I want to use it for 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 sev several uh, possibilities. And as you can see, I've got a general area where, where people are talking, front desk, some corporate uh, entries, a waiting room here, nice stairwell, elevators, some some more meeting spaces uh, and very generic stuff uh, the coffee machine even uh, so that's really playful and and if I go to PowerPoint and when I insert one of these images you know, this is not the greatest image uh, but you can play with it really simple in, in PowerPoint if you select your picture and go into the format uh, tab you've got the ability to add some artistic effects and not all of them are, are equally useful uh, and you can tweak them as well if you go into the formatting section um, but you know there are a couple of very useful ones like like the blur function is, is a great one or the the overlay uh, uh, the light so you can really play with these things and the same goes for for the color really uh, you can you can really decolorize or, or do desaturate it um, so make some really re unique backgrounds using these standard features in PowerPoint. So I did that and I applied a, a color effect and a blur effect here and totally different picture, right? Still doesn't look that great, but what if I put in a character and a content area? Looks much better, right? And maybe a bit on the bright side, so maybe I want to do a dark overlay or, or a dark gradient. You see this is just dark into fully transparent bleeds in it gives it much more softer feel so you can do this easily for for any kind of picture and um, I did it here for the background with the uh, chairs on it as you can see my original picture now effects applied gradient overlay that I have so it really gives a different feel and now one of the other cool things you can do is you can use these photos to build your own settings if you want to use uh, cartoon characters so I've got an example here below with my cartoon character and it's based on this picture and let me see how this works because you just break it down like this I've got my, uh, my, my, my female here my floorboards the window wall wall and I've got my ceiling there and below is my picture so it's super easy to do this now let's turn it back on again there we go turn off the picture and as you can see uh, I uh, uh, used some, some basic colors and I did them I used the theme colors and the cool thing about using theme colors is that if I check another theme my entire room changes so that's pretty cool right so it's really easy to to vary uh, in, in, in these things and if you want to play about so now I've got a green room and you know you can add more stuff to the wall doors paintings whatever you like uh, but it's really easy to create a, a setting like this and, uh, and turn it into an, uh, an e-learning scenario that's it uh, hope you liked it and uh, see you in the next uh, e-learning challenge.